Welcome to Perl for Beginner series. In this tutorial, the first in the series, I will describe what Perl is and what you can do with it. I will also show you how you can run your first Perl script. Perl is probably the most popular scripting language on the web. It is used to enhance web pages. Perl is known as a server-side language. That's because Perl generally doesn't get executed on your computer but on the computer you requested the pages from. The results are then handed over to you and displayed in your browser. Other scripting languages you may have heard of are ASP, Python, PHP and so on. You don't need to know any of these to get started with Perl. In fact, no programming experience is necessary to follow these tutorials. We will be using, since we would need a server, we will be using Perl is probably the most popular scripting language on the web. It is used to enhance web pages. Perl is known as a server-side language. That's because Perl doesn't get executed on your computer, but on the computer you requested the page from. The results are then handed over to you and displayed in your browser. Other scripting languages you may have heard of are ASP, Python and PHP and many more. You don't need to know any of these to get started with Perl. In fact, no programming experience is necessary to follow these tutorials. I will be describing how to get the Perl software in one of the later slides. So what can you do with Perl? Perl is well known about its string handling capability, unlike many other languages. You do not have to handle strings a byte at a time. Perl has built-in functions and operators that include concatenation, sorting, reversing, computing the length of a string, extracting substrings, and many more. Perl is often used for processing huge amounts of text. Its advanced regular expressions make analyzing log files and other textual data very easy. Perl allows you to work easily with the system also. It has built-in functions and operators for dealing with files, directories, processors and users. Perl has several ways for you to interact directly with the system also. Perl also has modules so you can use the system commands in a more secure way. Everything from NNTP protocols to socket communications can be done easily with these modules. Since HTML is just text, Perl can handle it easily. Perl modules are available to dynamically generate web graphics, handle HTTP authentication or interact directly with a web server. Perl is also used for application development. Perl 5's modular, object-oriented approach provides for cleaner software design and better maintainability. Perl can also interface with database servers such as Oracle and other information sources. Prerequisites This tutorial assumes that you already have installed EasyPHP in C PHP 5. If not, I suggest you go back and find the PHP tutorial available on this website and listen to the first lesson in that tutorial series. You will also need a Perl processor. One I recommend is available from strawberryperl.com and currently the version is 5.12.1.0. I suggest you download that and install on your computer. When you download the file, I am assuming you are on Windows operating system, you will get a file named something like strawberry pearl hyphen 51210.msi. Simply double click on the file to run the installer and uh, the only thing you need to do is to select the destination folder. To follow my examples, I suggest that you install at Perl in C drive. If you 
choose to install Perl someplace else, then you will have to change my source files that will be shown on the next few slides accordingly. Do not install under program files. Once you have the files installed, we are ready to run our first Perl script. Here is the script. What you could do is simply copy the script and save it in a file called hello.pl and you must save the file at C PHP 5 Apache CGI bin. If you have already installed PHP 5 then you will already find the folder Apache and a subfolder CGI bin at that location so all you need to do is to copy or place the file at that location. You also need to make sure that PHP 5 is running again that is described in my PHP tutorial. I want to briefly show you my folder structure and the location of the files. I have the Perl folder where the Strawberry Perl software is installed all by itself. Then PHP 5 is installed in PHP 5 folder which has a subfolder called Apache and a subfolder to that called CGI bin. This is where all your Perl files should be stored. Here is hello.pl that I showed you already and I'll show you nice.pl in the next example. Make sure your file and the folder structure looks similar to that for you to be able to run uh, my examples. I also want to go back and briefly explain the, the first script that we ran. The first line simply says where is the Perl interpreter located? If you install the strawberry Perl according to my suggestions, this is the line of uh, line that you would put in which indicates where Perl.exe is. Then here is your Perl script. You're simply printing something saying that the content is text and HTML type, and then you have several lines of HTML code. And just before beginning HTML, you need to say print EOM and HTML or something like that and it's going to look for that set of characters and it'll think that everything between this the begin EOM and the end EOM contains the HTML code. And again make sure that this is where you have saved your Perl script. So this is the first example uh, and uh, I suggest try running it. Then here is a second example. It runs into several lines, little longer, runs into two slides. Uh, I suggest you copy all of that code, save it as nice.pl and run it. And just see what it does and go back and try analyzing the code and I'm sure once you get the output you'll be able to very quickly figure out what it is doing. So that was a quick introduction to Perl. We talked about installing the Strawberry Perl software. You need needed to have PHP 5 installed and running. Uh, and uh, in the next tutorial, I will discuss variables, data types, and the assignment statements. Uh, please visit my website. It contains tutorials on many different programming languages. Thank you for listening.